right, guys, welcome back to Outdoor Power Tech. We're going to start getting this uh, Kohler Magnum 18 assembled, and uh, hopefully it goes good and smooth. I'm uh, probably going to buff that up a little bit. I didn't know I had a paint build up on there. But, yes, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Ben, shop's been banging the past two weeks, and I've had a lot of engine rebuilds in. Uh, newer stuff, Kawasaki engines and Briggs on these commercial mowers. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Got my gasket set here. Uh, I went ahead and printed me up some instructions on where to put the sealant on the casing and stuff like that. I did leave the pistons on there. I might take those off when I put the heads on. I might see which way is easier. Um, but we'll cross that road when we get there. Um, but that's, all that has been sitting in my parts washer, which has uh, diesel in it, uh, just soaking and everything. I, and cleaned it up really, really nice. You know, uh, also the cam, and air, everything's been cleaned real good and stuff. But anyways, these pistons are, uh, these pistons are oversized. They stamp 20 thousandths over. So this engine has been rebuilt at some point, and that's probably why those cleaned up so well. But I got this engine at a scrapyard, guys, for $30, and uh, it's about to be scrapped. So that's where I got it from. So I had no history behind this other than that when I got it. Um, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting stuff together on this, and y'all can just watch as I go along. Uh, I'm not going to do too much of a tutorial on this. I'm just going to be getting stuff done. And, uh, and I'm also, I'm trying to find some uh, music, uh, bluegrass type music that's not copyrighted, that's over an hour long, so I can have that as like a background music also while I'm doing this. But let's go ahead and I'm going or putting everything back together. Let's see here. I'm not going to finagle with it at all. I'll push it like that. Be careful with it too, because it's it's sharp. sharp. Should have some gloves on, but all this stuff's clean. If I had a pair of gloves on right now, that would just split split the glove. Break that up real good before I put a seal on it. All right, let's see here. I'll go ahead and put my tappets in. Let me oil this stuff up before I put them on. Well, springs coming around the corner for us here in North Carolina. Still getting some, still getting some 20 degree nights, but all in all, starting to cool and warm up a little bit. So I'm happy about that. All 
right, got that buffed up pretty good. Good enough for me. And if you're wondering that, uh, uh, still wheel that I was using is not real abrasive, isn't that bad at all. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and get the cam put in. And let's see here. Like that. Go ahead and get the crank put in. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna have to line. I was going crazy, but right there, this line right here is the mark. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this piston right here. I'm wondering if I should just stand this case like this. That's not going to work. That's not going to work for me the way I want it to. falling into place right okay just like this I think that's it for the inside Ugh. okay now I'm gonna go ahead and get the seal it on here. And here's the way they want it. This little bead right here, this right here, the black line is how they want you to run it. Okay. I'm going to put a generous amount on it because I want this thing to be sealed up good. Like I'm not going to gob it on, but I can always go back and wipe off once the case is put together. The main thing is we want to make sure we don't get it in any of where the oil runs at. And the bottom's gonna be more crucial than the top. Oh, it still needs to be sealed off. Wanting us to go ahead and put it. Is it the 
plug right here. A plug on this end. Plug on that end. Like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of sealant right here. right here like so Hope y'all can still see me. I had to stop the video a couple times. I had two customers calling in. My wife was calling me. She's out of town. And I didn't get it. And then when I called her back, she didn't pick up, which was odd. So I started worried about her. Okay. We're still good as far as it's perfectly okay where we're putting our silicone up and I'm using a high temp silicone okay now it says just to go to right here this see here Um, I'm just going to put a small, small bead, not bead, but just, I mean, almost nothing on there. You don't have to. All of this up here has nothing, no oil run through it. You can do it by the manual. I'm getting all the spots out of no, no oil. Yeah, both of those casings are. I'm just looking. Okay. All right. That should be sufficient enough for me. I do want to make sure this bottom is really good though. Cap to put back on here. I'll put a little bit of, I don't know if I should put a little bit of oil on that right now. That's going to be this way. Okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure everything looks right to me. Okay, 
this set in here. I was looking at it one side. I was like, why does it not need a cap? But I forgot that it's on the fly loose side. This is not gonna be fine. And I don't want my time to, time to get off. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot easier better way to do this. Okay. Put all that together. Okay, now. I'm gonna get all my nuts. Put these on. All right, guys, I'm gonna show y'all something. Everybody makes mistakes. And I'll show you here once I get fresh silicone put back on here. And then we'll get back to it. I'll just go ahead and show you now. We'll get back to the video where we, where we were at. I forgot to put my bushings in right here. Okay. And, of course, they go on right here like, like so. Got those back in, and I'm gonna put some silicone on here too because I forgot to put some on this side. It's all good, it's fine. We caught it before we got everything back together, though. That would have been bad. What made me catch it was when I had it back together, I had a lot of play in my crank. I was like, no, nope. not supposed to have that much play. <laughs> and all these parts are clean, clean. So I didn't put put those on there dirty or anything. And we'll hit it with some oil again before I put it back together. Looks like everywhere I had this stuff at seemed to be okay. Just want to make sure like I said, get that bottom real good. Okay, now we can put it back together. Now we cook on a K row. Put everything right here. Put the lid back on. See where our timing mark is on here. Get that set with the timing mark on our cam, which is right there.
go ahead and get all these on this side. flashlight Be the bigger, the bigger ones. Yep, yep, the big ones. Yeah, run those in. So we'll go back to torque all these. I'm just, right now I'm trying to find where all these other stuff went to. Here we go. I know what, I know what I'm going crazy. We got the three across the bottom here. All right, I'm, I'm going to torque all these, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, let's see here. Go ahead and start working on the pump. Better like that. 
don't know why that's standing off of there like that. Oh, here we go. Move on like that. So it's flush. All right. I'm just putting some oil in here so it's not. Dry when I put this together. All right, that should be it for that. I'm gonna put a new oil cell in here. Let's see it right there. All right. All I'm gonna do is pop this in until it gets past my paint line. Lips sealed up on here. I right, hold up. Oh, that looks good. Let's first put on our, we gotta put this on. And I'm just gonna get this down finger tight. There's prior torque specs on it, but it's gonna be behind this plate too. Just make sure you don't roll the lip forward. There we go. Nice. I think. Yep. It goes on this way. Like so. All right, do this again. There we go. Okay. Let's see what the new thing did these. What we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These had a little washers on them. There it Right. 
get those dri dried in. Then we'll look at the torque test on it. Hundred fifty inch pounds. Hundred and fifty inch pounds. All right. Alright, got those done. We'll come back here in a little bit and recheck those because that gas will come smash down a little further probably. If not, it's still safe to recheck it. Alright, now let's start on cylinder two here. And I am going to take these pistons off of here. It's going to be a whole lot easier to do. Let me get my needle nose pliers and pull this little pin out. Don't lose it, Chris. Okay, now let me get our gasket for here. They both have a hole in it. Yeah, they do. All right. Okay, let me get my rings. Can y'all still see me what I'm doing? Let me get y'all over this way so y'all can see it a little better. Maybe get y'all zoomed out a little bit too. 
right now I'm just putting the rings all rings on right now sorry I'm not doing much talking guys I had a really long day today this is this is the next day from that from the video I was recording yesterday after I got the case put together starting to get busy busy here in the shop If that's wanting to go up top, I'll just let it go up top. Again, so those feel awfully big, but they, they're coming together. All right, let's see what the rings are supposed to be. So it looks like that center ring. Okay. It's me engines as I rebuild. You think I have a ring wrench? All right, let's get those pivoted around to where not the same. Okay, slide this over here. This is where it's going to come in handy to have two people probably because this cast iron is heavy. So we're going to be going like this. And that way is the flywheel. Like so. All right, we're going to wipe that out and get some oil on it.
see here, make sure our rings are not lined up and they look good. Now I do have a ring compressor, but I'm gonna do this by hand just so people that it's not, don't have a ring compressor and see how I do it. I might have to on this one. Okay. Might have to get my bigger one. We'll see. Oh, this one might work. Probably should have put some oil down on that. It'll be all right. Get my rubber hammer. All right, here we go. All right. Make sure we're facing the flywheel. Skirt's going to be. All right. We're in. All right. This next part might be a good point for you to get somebody to help you. If I remember, this is pretty difficult to do. Let's have it out just a little more. A little bit more. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. All right, I'm tapping this out to <laughs> where I have enough room right here in this cutout right here to push my pin through here. So I want to do this. It would be good to have somebody else to help with this. One person, one this will sit right here like this. not it's fine we'll get it in okay got it in i'm gonna let this sit down here on there yeah here we go okay that worked out good i'm going to get Instead of my needle nose pliers, I'm gonna use this flat pliers. So, so I'll be able to get a, be able to hold this a little bit better maybe. But then again, that might make it too big to go in there. Sure it snaps in. Make 
make sure this doesn't fall out. Go, let's start over again. All right, we snapped in. Okay. Now. If I had somebody else, I can hold the back side of that engine. Because I do not want this thing to rotate any because I don't want my rings to get out of the position so yeah. alright there we go alright it was a whole lot different than messing with this balloon Aluminum stuff. <laughs> okay. Get our nut. Let's see if I'm going to run. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. All right. Now I'm just going to get these as tight as I can because I can't get a torque wrench. There's no way possible to get a torque wrench in behind this stuff. head on then I'll get the other head on off camera so you barely can even get your fingers in there so I couldn't find a torque spec on this only on the cylinder head Inch. I'm just going to get these snug just a little bit so it don't try to come back itself back off because I've got bleed two more on the bottom, two more nuts. And this right here really isn't holding any pressure. One bar just basically got oil seal on it to keep oil from coming back through. The head is going to be where the pressure is at, where we're going to have to make sure we get the torque right on that.
I wonder if my ratchet half inch will fit in there. If so, that'll be amazing. No, not enough room. No. It's scarring up the paint. I don't want that. Looks good so far. I'm sorry if it, I got a lot of interruptions in my video on this one, especially. I just had another customer stop by and drop off two commercial mowers. One's wanting a full engine rebuild on, and the other one has a ignition issue. All right, guys, got both of the cylinders on. She's shaping up to be really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video for this week. Um, I was wanting to get it wrapped up quick for y'all so y'all wouldn't have too many videos, but it just happened to be, everybody's starting to come into my shop now and uh, kind of put me behind on this. But we're still gonna get it done. Uh, probably we'll have one at the most two more videos at the most but there she is right now she looks good looks really good so i hope you enjoy this series and until next time we'll see you